Bonjour, mes amis. Day three of the Chemin de Stevenson, the GR70. I'm heading out of Godet. It's a beautiful, partly cloudy day. Flowers are out, the birds are tweeting. Morale is high. Um, <clears throat> what was on my mind this morning uh, was a post that I saw on one of the hiker forums on Facebook. And a new hiker was asking how long it took for uh, trail legs to kick in and uh, how quickly they eroded. And, you know, could you compensate for that? Uh, you know, by working out. All good questions. Uh, individual results may vary. I've noted in the past that even though I may be not hiking for some months at a time, uh, my body still knows how to hike. And my body responds relatively quickly to getting into shape, being able to put in a, you know, a full hiking day, etc. Uh, that hasn't happened yet, of course. Uh, yesterday was my first full day, and I really haven't been working out or doing anything to keep in shape. Um, but one thing that did kick in almost immediately was hiker hunger. <laughs> and I went out to dinner last night, and... Uh, the portion seemed woefully inadequate. And it's a, it's, it's a worry of mine right now because uh, many of these little towns and hamlets I'm going through, uh, there's, there's nowhere to get any food. <laughs> so uh, yeah, something on my mind. Okay, the other thing on my mind is how I, where the trail is, because I don't, oh, I do know, I do see a symbol up ahead, so I'm taking the, this road out of town. Okay, let's see where it heads. Had a wonderful little stop here for an hour or two at a tiny little cafe. And other hikers came up, had conversations. And uh, one group came in, and uh, some people take the uh, idea of following Robert Louis Stevenson's travels with a donkey uh, quite literally. And uh, that's the way they're traveling. Wonderful, wonderful color and uh, atmosphere to this hike. bells are ringing. This isn't a telephone booth anymore. It's a library. A free library. Let's see what they got.
Well, right now I'm in uh, Le Bourget Saint Nicolas, and uh, nice little town. Uh, stopped and got uh, some candy bars and um, some orangina to drink, and uh, and an apple in a little little modest uh, uh, store there. There is a I could have stopped in and had a meal, but it's like. 3.30 in the afternoon, kind of an awkward time. What I wanted to point out was almost everywhere, in almost every little town, some, some villages, uh, they are commemorating Robert Louis Stevenson and his travels uh, with a donkey, Modestine, uh, through this area. At the opposite end of town, there's, there's even like a little museum in which they uh, they took modern photographs of each of the sort of little towns and bridges and places that he went, and then uh, superimposed, photoshopped in in them a a picture or or a figure uh, meant to be Robert Louis Stevenson and his donkey uh, into the modern era era um, photograph. So. So that was sort of interesting. Uh, I, I downloaded uh, his book, so I've been listening to it today, and it's, it's quite amusing. But uh, it, it's a book I had heard of, but I'd never read before. But it's uh, apparently quite famous in this part of the world. So, uh, so yeah, you know, they're, they're making the most of, of their literary claim to fame in this area. Um, finishing up day three and I'm at a um, private campground here that's tent camping and, and others um, at Arcajol not sure how to pronounce it uh, but we have a wonderful view down into the valley there and uh, for 10 euros, I get a camping spot and uh, toilets and uh, use of a kitchen and uh, shower and all that kind of stuff. So, good day. About 15 miles. Had a couple very nice conversations with other hikers that I've, uh, you know, come upon. And uh, I think that's part of... Uh, trip like this so um, and then of course I saw the one trekker who has his own donkey which, uh, which was really good and I'm uh, listening to Robert Louis Stevenson as I as I make the trek so it's all good hope you're having a good day too